You're in the frame. Hi! We're gonna do some holiday baking today, guys. We are gonna make some vegan eggnog, what is it, fluffy? We're gonna make some fluffy frosted eggnog sugar cookies. Doesn't that sound so good? We've got all of our ingredients right here lined up and we got some sprinkles, we got some red sprinkles, some green sprinkles to make these really holiday-ish because the website just has like nutmeg on top, which, you know, the eggnog, the nutmeg, it's all holiday vibes, but we're gonna maybe take it a step further. As I was researching what we should make today, I was like, should we make a pie? Should we make something crazy? And I was like, let's keep it casual, make some cookies that like, Something that would be realistic for like you guys at home to make if you guys want to make something. Here's the thing, I'm not a great cook, but I'm actually decent at baking cookies. That's the one thing I can do is make really good chocolate chip cookies. So I actually have a little bit of faith that this could go well. Beth is the opposite. She's really good at cooking, but you're also good at baking, I feel like. No. No? That is where I draw the line. Okay. <laughs> baking is a science and I'm scared of science. <laughs> also, I feel like I will say when you're making things vegan, it's like a little bit harder to nail. Yeah. Because sometimes the consistency is a little off. They change. <gasps> Why what? Is that? Your orange sweatshirt, can I see that? Liv's orange sweatshirt, like I thought it was a construction oh. like a guy, but it was like in my house. And I was like, oh. Why is there a man in my house? Woo! It's just the man in the house. I'm gonna be honest, I don't have great measuring cups. I do have some, but they're like, have you ever had things from your kitchen just like disappear? I'm like, where's my tablespoon? Like, I don't get how that just goes away. So we preheated the oven. Oh, okay, we got a delivery. Full disclosure, all I've eaten today is almond butter toast and salt and vinegar chips. And now I'm making cookies, so I told Beth, I'm like, yeah. I need some veggies, we need some greens. So we ordered some green juices. Yeah. I need to chug this thing. So we preheated the oven to 350 degrees, and now we're going to place the dry ingredients except for the powdered sugar in a medium-sized bowl and blend together. That's what I lost with my teaspoon. Oh. So I only have a half a teaspoon. Wait, sorry, is it one teaspoon? One teaspoon. Wait, <gasps> sorry, I was thinking about baking powder. <laughs> You're doing salt? Half a teaspoon. <laughs> one powder. teaspoon of baking powder. Okay, one teaspoon. We gotta teaspoon. make sure See, you don't want to get uh, mixed up between baking powder and baking soda. One? Baking soda. You don't want to get mixed up, guys. It's done. So now we're on to the wet ingredients. Wet ingredients. Let's get wet. Ooh, Ooh I'm scared. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not smart enough. And you have nails to under it. Ooh, actually, nails are never a good thing. I'll admit, like having long nails always seems like a fun idea, and it's like cute, but non practical. It's not a real life. It is. It's truly annoying. Like the in these circumstances, yeah. like you'd think it'd be cool to have nails. No, <laughs> it doesn't help you. Because also, like it hurts your nail. To try yeah, and also it's like they're fragile as heck because of the gel. Yeah, like let's be real. Got you got it. it? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> I thought you said you've been working out. <laughs> oh, man. oh, I have a trick. Oh, I have a really good trick. What's the trick? Really trick. Okay, so we need a ledge. Need to go down. This is good here. You have to use a ledge, and you take this. I'm terrified. Please don't crack marble. <laughs> and you like bang it on the side of the leg. Please work. Woo! Wow. I don't know. I learned something Ooh. in my science class. That smells really, really good. good. If you could pick between like a coconut smell of like a candle or like a fruity, like flowery, which what, what would you do? Ooh. The fruity flowery, I feel like, would give me a headache. Over yeah, there. I need like coconut. Like it's too strong. I need like vanilla. I need, you know what I mean? I know what you okay. mean. Okay. But I love like, evergreen or something, pine. Oh yeah, pine. That's like my all time favorite scent. Really? really? You know, you can use your fingers too at times. I don't want to get oily. I hate, do you know this about me? <laughs> yeah, wait, what? Do you know this fact <laughs> about me? No, I can't do. <laughs> Look, a tree. Is it, it's fine for them, right? Oh, it's yeah. so fine. Yeah. Just like little doses. She really she loves, loves it. it. She loves it. They love it because it's like so sweet. Love it? Literally, Moose, he'll be in yeah. the living room, far away, asleep, dead asleep on the couch. And I'll open up the cover just to get the coconut oil, and I'll really just crack it open. He comes running, he'll come running. I'm like, how did you smell that? Lady does that with peanut butter. If we open the peanut butter, she comes running. Fun fact about me is that I like 
cannot deal with my hands getting stuff on them. The thought of like touching the other hands like actually makes me feel kind of sick. Like I'll do it if I know that I can immediately like, like wash yeah, it off yeah. and like, but but with oily stuff, you know how it oh, kind of has like, a residue? Oh yeah. I can't do that. And I've always been like, if my hands were dirty as a kid, like if I felt me like got dirt or a mud, like I would start freaking out. Oh, Baby weird. poop is gonna be a real problem. Like that's gonna be an issue. <laughs> You're gonna do it. You know what's so sad to me is that vanilla smells Oh. Like absolute heaven. heaven, like no better scent, but it tastes like crap if you just yeah. take a little bit. Very strong. My mom always says clean up <laughs> as you go, and which is a very good tip because if you don't, this whole situation gets very messy. Sorry, by the way, this was set up for my height. When I'm cut off the entire three. time. <laughs> okay. How tall are you? I'm five four. Five four. Yeah. Then I must be five two. I would say stand up straight. Hmm. I look five foot. Yeah, you look a little bit. I am five foot. No. Doctor says no. every time I go, I am always. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, those are pretty high. Got fully over. Right? Yeah. Just want to see the dough. So here's what we're working with so far. It looks pretty good. Does touching the dough affect you? Not if I can wash my hands. Like Immediately. Turn this forward. You wash your hands, and then just. I get one. Yay! Beth is ready. The what we said merch today. Looks like very Christmas -y. Covering my knees just in case. When you smush it down to like a half inch size, that's like the size of the cookie. It'll oh, be. this is good dough. It this is good. Is good dough. It's like just sticky enough. Like a little do bigger. Think, do you think that needs to be a little bigger? Maybe a little bigger. I love like chunky cookies. Yeah, yeah. I like them a little thick. I like them thick too. Uh, Here's the thing. You really, I don't feel like you can have too big of a cookie. But is that a problem? <laughs> Jilly, weigh in. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I should do a baking video with my mom. You haven't done that yet? No. Oh, see, I feel like that is good. <laughs> the one I just did. That was really good. <laughs> we're just doing nine. <laughs> That's what we're gonna have to do. Should we move this over? Kind of. <laughs> we the perfectionist can. in me is screaming. <laughs> at where these cookies are placed. This is representative of humans as a whole. Everyone's a different size. And you know what? We can't we can't be perfectionists about things. Um, no one is perfect. No. I just have the like, <laughs> urge to throw this at the lens. You know what? Sometimes from mistakes, perfection happens. Not sure. <laughs> Not sure on that one. So there are the I cookies. Okay, they are slipping and sliding. We wish we had parchment paper because that's kind of like what you're supposed to do. <gasps> What? I, I just got sad because I realized I have like cookie cutters that are like <gasps> Christmas trees and stuff. We can restart. We can do these with Christmas trees. Not one Christmas tree. <laughs> we can do Wait, tree. maybe we can fit a Christmas tree. Yeah, I think we could. Okay. Bring them out. Bring them out. Well, here's a gingerbread. Oh, yeah. wait. That'd be cute. Oh, that'd be cute. That's very Christmassy. A very special man. Okay, I'm gonna the. it's cute. Be cute. Should we try the dough? Right now? I guess we cooked this vegan. Mm. Honestly, very tasty. Very good. I have you a lot of faith to be baked. I have mm. a lot of faith in this. That is delicious. That's really good. Mm. This is dangerous. Mm. This is why vegan baking is the best, actually. That is that that an absolute no. <laughs> if you guys want to make this recipe and just eat the dough, you should because it's yeah. vegan, so there's no like raw eggs or anything in it, and it's yep. freaking delicious. Now back to my green juice. Mm -hmm. Eight, Eight to ten. ten minutes. I've said this before, I'll say it again. My biggest baking tip is like take the cookies out when they are barely retweet. Barely brown on yeah. the end edges. Mm -hmm. If you wait, they will always be really overdone. Nice. They'll be crispy on the edges. Like you have to wait till it almost looks like they're not done. Yeah. They have to kind of look not done. Yeah, they do. Okay. It's the key to good cookies. I feel like when people... I would rather die than eat a crunchy cookie. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not It's not fun. So I always, when it says like 8 to 10 minutes, I set the timer for like 7. Yeah. And then I Take scope it out. Yeah. Was it late? Was he the one that said he likes crunchy cookies? No. No. He no. likes it all. Oh, he likes it when it's not warm. Problem. He likes it when it's like um, room temp. Like crunching into a hard, cold chocolate chip? Yeah. Nothing. No thank you to the chocolate no, chip. No, no. no thank you to the chocolate chip. <laughs> I can smack you in the face. <laughs> it would be ideal. <laughs> It'd be so sticky. <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> We're making the frosting now. Yeah, please harden. <laughs> please get hard. I, 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 I didn't say that out loud. Yeah, that's in. Oh! So this is the texture of, oh, literally crumbs. <laughs> yeah, no, it actually is crumbs. It's like very crumbly. This is the frosting we're making, so. <laughs> it's supposed to be creamed. So it's supposed to be creamed. Hmm. 
Mm. It could be like again, like vegan butter. I feel like yeah, the same. I know that's butter. true. I okay. Okay, <laughs> butter. We're getting somewhere. Definitely. I am solving. <laughs> I that is finally that's looking, looking good. Better. This is the texture. It's it's feeling very frosting-ish. Yeah. Those are looking good. That's fluffy. That is fluffy, people. Mmm, that tastes fluffy. That tastes better. Yeah. Less buttery. Oh. Oh. Mmm. Guys, here is our makeshift cooling rack. Wow. I changed the angle so that you could see them because we're going to frost them. I don't have a cooling rack. I need to buy one. So we're just using a paper towel so that we can put the frosting on them and decorate them. We're losing the light. Yeah. That was lucky. That might have been too much. Light. Yeah, keep, keep it fresh. It light, keep it fresh. And keep it minimal. Okay, cute. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm perfect. getting this for a smile. We're oh. gonna use this as a little smile. It's perfect for the gingerbread man. Oh my gosh, it's perfect. Okay, the frosting did not do great job on the frosting. <laughs> <gasps> wait, wait, hold wait, on. Wait, it's so cute. Wait, oh no, his little smirk. Wait, what about the side of his face? He's got yeah. acne. Got a little acne. No, it's perfect. <laughs> They're getting messy here, guys. I should do like these pearls with it. Oh, that's Haney. <laughs> that was not cute. It is time for an official taste test. Okay, I'm taking this one. It's really perfect. Wait, you guys all take one. We'll, we'll eat them at the same time. One, two, three. It's very soft. That's really good. Like thick but soft. I feel like that's how like all vegan goodies are, you know? Mmm, that's really good. Wow. But eggnog is bomb. It's just the amount of eggnog. Did you know it was eggnog life? <gasps> it's funny that you said it's just the amount of eggnog. Just the right amount. I will link this recipe for you guys below. If you want to make vegan eggnog cookies, um, tag me if you make them. These are really good. Like, I can fully recommend this recipe to you guys, and I definitely think you should try it out. My hand is so shaky, I can't. I, like, need to just sit this right here. It's actually perfect. Delicious. That is going to be the end of today's video. Thank you guys for watching us bake holiday cookies. Thanks for watching Vlogmas. We still got a few days of this week to go. Stay tuned if you guys are not already subscribed um, and you want to continue watching Vlogmas and keep updated on my videos, make sure to push subscribe. We were talking about this before. A lot of people just watch my videos like they swipe up from Instagram or whatever, but they don't actually click subscribe. So if you're one of those, go physically click subscribe. That'd be awesome if you could do that. Also, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. I don't even know if that helps me. I know that if you subscribe, it helps, but the thumbs up, I'm not sure. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.